Earlier this week, 17 Spokane police officers started wearing body cameras as a new way of keeping tabs on their interactions with the community they serve. But the department is holding off outfitting all of its officers until it resolves some thorny issues about how much of that video should be made public. Tonight in a story you'll see only on KXOY 4, our Jeff Humphrey talks with Chief Frank Straub about his concerns and how you can weigh in on the new body cam policy. At least once a month, the Spokane Police Department is called here to the Monroe Street Bridge to deal with someone who's contemplating jumping off. Now the question is, should body cameras be used to record the negotiations with that despondent person? And if so, should the public be able to see what happens next? Washington is a two-party consent state, so technically the officers contacting this despondent man would have to inform him that they were recording his plight on the bridge with body cams. Could we exacerbate that crisis mode by saying I have to record this? Um, do, we, do we potentially escalate the situation? Do we push people over the edge? Another concern about the body cams is does the public have the right to refuse permission to be recorded? What about eyewitnesses at crime scenes? Should police be able to protect their identity? That's an issue that we're looking at now from a legal perspective. Do I as a police officer have a right to override your denial of me recording the conversation with you. Washington State also has some of the most liberal public records request laws in the country. The news media can even get access to video interrogations before the case goes to court. I'd like to let you speak to my lawyer. So if this man had jumped off the bridge, should the public be able to see it in a body cam video? What about when police tell the victim's family that he's dead? Death notifications, are we exposing people in a time of sadness and crisis, their reaction to that notification, does that become public? And, and should it become public? Now, the chief did not wait to get answers to those questions before deploying 17 body cams in the field, but he plans to spend the next three months getting input from the public about how citizens want these cameras used, as well as giving public demonstrations about what the hardware can see, but also the action that it might miss. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOY 4.